In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the water pump on this BMW 328i. Let's get into it. Using a eight millimeter socket, we want to take these screws out. Take this panel down. Some screws on the side. Grab the panel and slide it down. After you take the shield off, you want to take a straight blade screwdriver and have a drain bucket underneath. And you want to make sure the vehicle's cold while you're doing this. Do not do this while the vehicle's hot. I'll just drain the coolant. I'll take the reservoir cap off. It's going to allow the coolant to drain out. Take the drain plug, get that lined up. And just snug that up. It's good this hose off. I'm just going to use a pick to release the clip. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath just in case some fluid comes out. Just wiggle this back and forth. Yep, a little bit of coolant. Using the pick, we'll just pop this clip out for this hose. Take it off completely and rock that hose back and forth. Slide that off out of the way. I'm using a smaller pick, I'm going to disconnect the connector on the bottom. There's a little tab there. Just push up on the tab and disconnect the connector. There's the connector, set that aside. There's a hose that goes in the back. Use a straight blade screwdriver. Loosen up that worm clamp. Slide that back. I'm just gonna use a pick. Just get under the hose. I'm gonna work that off in the back. You can kind of get in there from beside the uh, side of the cradle. Just pull that off. On the side is a hose that goes to the back of the thermostat. You want to remove that. Just loosen up the worm clamp. You can use a quarter inch socket on the worm clamp or a straight blade screwdriver. Take this panel off. Use a 16 millimeter socket. Take the bolts out. in, grab the hose, and pull it back. Oh, more coolant. Underneath here, there's two bolts. We're going to take those out with a wrench. Just use a 10 millimeter wrench. Loosen those up. If you can fit a socket in there, you could do that. Once you crack them free, then you can do it by hand. I'll take that bolt out. And I'll get the other bolt, loosen that up with the wrench. Slide 
slide the bolt out. Grab the thermostat and it slides right out. There's a hose on the back of the water pump that goes to the side. You gotta release the hose clamp on that. Just use a quarter inch socket. I'm just getting this from underneath with a universal adapter. Just gonna try to pry this hose off a little bit just to break it loose. You don't have to take it off completely yet. Using a E12 socket, take the water pump bolts out. To gain some more access, I'm going to use a 13 millimeter socket. Take these two bolts off for the sway bar. You can pry that out just a little bit. You could also use a 10 millimeter socket if you have a swivel socket that helps. Makes it easier to access this lower bolt. All right, there's the bolt. We're gonna push that out of the way. Push the button down if you can access it. There we go. Just using a screwdriver to help push the connector off. Connect the connector, and it's gonna slide right out. And there it is. Now we need to put this hose on before we slide the pump back in place. It'll just make it easier. The shorter side of the hose is gonna go towards the water pump. Make sure you have your clamp on there. So you want to look at the old one, get it kind of to the right angle before we tighten that down. You can also take the thermostat housing, and stick this on temporarily, just so you get the right angle that you need. So we know that's going to be like that. And we'll tighten this down. Just snug that down, make sure that doesn't move. That looks good. And we'll take this off again. Put the other hose clamp over that. And we're ready to slide this back in the vehicle. Take the hose clamp, we'll slide that over that hose. Slide in underneath. There we go. That's lined up. Before I tighten that down, let's try to get some of the bolts lined up. So let me get the bolts started. And you want to make sure you use the new bolts for the water pump. All right, so get that clamp lined up. And we'll put this hose on. Get it close and then make adjustments and then you can tighten it down the rest of the way. Make sure you put new New bolts. Just use a pry bar if you need to get the bolt holes to line up. It helps a little bit.
Those are all snug. Now we're going to torque these bolts to seven foot pounds and then an additional 90 degrees. Seven and go another 90 degrees. Do the same with the other two. Plug the connector in. Lock it down. I'm just checking it, making sure it's locked in. It's all the way down, that's good. Now I'll take this clip, you wanna reinstall this over the hose. Yep, that's all set. And then get the hose clamp ready for this one. And take the thermostat housing. Slide this hose on. I'm not gonna tighten that yet. I'm gonna get the hose lined up with the water pump hose. Connect the connector. And get the hose lined up down below. Slide that on. Now I'm gonna tighten down the worm clamps on the back. Just make sure the hose doesn't move. That looks good. I'll get the bottom one lined up. And we'll tighten that down. And snug that up. That looks good. To get the bolts in for the thermostat, to make it easier taking the bolts out, then you can move the sway bar. Just put a piece of wood or a hockey puck or something like that. And then it's a little bit easier getting these in and out. Get the bolt started. And we'll get the other bolt started. And just snug those both down. That's good. Put the bolts in for the stabilizer bar. Tighten those down. Now I take this hose, the clip's already on there. Lock that in place. Slide this hose, it's going to go right there, and just lock that in place. There we go, that's locked in. Take this shield, slide that in place, get the bolt started. and snug those down. I'll 
slide this panel in place. Get the bolt started. I tighten those down. You can take a straight blade screwdriver. I'm gonna loosen up the bleeder screw here for the coolant. Using a funnel, you can add the appropriate coolant. Make sure it's the correct mixture, 50-50 water to coolant. You can tell when it's full, there is a gauge right here that comes up. So you want to make sure, check on the side of the tank to the key to make sure it's at the appropriate mark. And you can close the bleeder screw. Make sure that gauge is in the appropriate spot. This vehicle, it's broken, so it's broken off down there, but this looks fine here. Put the cap on. And then we're gonna start the bleed procedure inside the car. And we're gonna put the key in the on position, but don't start the vehicle. And you want the HVAC on the lowest setting as far as the blower goes, and turn the heat all the way up. And then we're going to hold the gas pedal all the way to the floor for 10 seconds. All right. The water pump is electric, so the computer is going to command the electric water pump to cycle through and pump out all the air so that bleeds out the system. You can hear the water pump doing its thing. It's cycling, pushing the air through, and it's going to do this for about 10 minutes. After that, you can just shut the vehicle off and you should be good to go. It's also a good idea to have a battery charger connected to the battery just so that the battery doesn't drain. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.